business story reporting on footprints to Africa this week. But first, here are the headlines. Kenya, Australia to promote fintech in capital markets. Mining sector seeks win-win solutions for sustainable development. Tanzania bans banana imports from Mozambique. Ghana launches technology service for farmers. 22-year-old school dropout wins $25,000 African prize for youth entrepreneurship. Hitachi unveils enhanced flash storage lineup. Rural banks profit grows by 62.46%. Ericsson Innovation Challenge 6 ICT Solutions for Food Sector The Capital Markets of Kenya and the Australian Securities and Investments Commission have signed a cooperation agreement to promote fintech innovation in their respective markets. The two parties have agreed to share information on emerging market trends in financial services and regulatory issues arising from the growth in innovation in the agreement that sets up a framework for their cooperation. The cooperation agreement was signed in the sidelines of the board meeting of the International Organization of Securities Commissions held in Hong Kong this week. Representatives from 55 governments mining companies, industry associations, and the civil society will meet at the annual general meeting of the Intergovernmental Forum on Mining, Minerals, Metals, and Sustainable Development in Geneva, Switzerland. They will explore the opportunities and risks of mining in respect to the Sustainable Development Goals. The team for this year's Intergovernmental Forum, hosted by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, which will be held between the 26th and 28th October 2016. In the agricultural sector, Tanzania has barred the importation of banana plants from Mozambique, citing the outbreak of the Panama disease, a fungal disease that is taking a toll on the plants in southern Africa. The Panama disease is spread by planting material that is already affected from existing plantations or through soils such as attached to cars or people's shoes. The statement from the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries is monitoring all entry points into the country to ensure alien banana plants do not cross into Tanzania. Ghana is increasingly drifting towards the use of technology to raise in agricultural production as it launches the M Farms electronic platform to guide farmers. It will serve as vital source of information on the best agronomic practices, pests, and disease control. Also, there is development of viable linkages within the agricultural value chain to bring about efficiency. The platform was launched during the 6th Annual Pre-Harvest Agribusiness Fair organized in Sunyani by the Ghana Grains Council with funding by the United States Agency for International Development, Agricultural Development and Value Chain. Harry Chiana, a 22-year-old agricultural entrepreneur from Madagascar, has been awarded his $25,000 grand prize in 6th Annual Edition of Africa's Anzisha Award for Youth Entrepreneurship. The African Leadership Academy and the Mastercard Foundation announced Erichiana, founder of Yombunana, an agro-processing enterprise that manufactures dairy products and confectionaries using only Malagasy raw materials, employing farmers and providing local job opportunities as this year's winner. Applications for the next cycle of the Azisha Prize will open on 15 February in 2017. Nominations for promising youth entrepreneurs are welcome all year round. Hitachi Data Systems, a wholly owned subsidiary of Hitachi Limited, has announced new systems and software designed to deliver better customer experiences and return on investment. Powered by the next generation of Hitachi Storage Virtualization Operating System and backed by a 100% data availability guarantee, the expanded Hitachi Virtual Storage Platform lineup offers performance, resiliency, and workload scalability beyond what is guaranteed by other platforms. In the banking sector, the Atuima Kwan Woma Rural Bank in Ghana continues to show strong growth, recording a net profit of 7.19 million Ghana cities on its operations last year. Mr. Patrick Owusu, the board chairman, said this represented an 
And finally, the Ericsson Sub-Saharan Africa Innovation Awards 2016 themed the future of food as challenge innovators to come up with a winning solution based on ICT that could revolutionize the food space. Ericsson underscores the point that Sub-Saharan Africa faces a rapidly growing population and as a result, food production will need to increase significantly. According to Ericsson, the goal is to find innovations that promote sustainability in the future of food, whether it be in food production, packaging, information availability or distribution. That wraps up this week's top stories. We'll be back with a recap of the headlines. Kenya, Australia to promote fintech in capital markets. Mining sector seeks win-win solutions for sustainable development. Tanzania bans banana imports from Mozambique. Ghana launches technology service for farmers. 22-year-old school dropout wins $25,000 African prize for youth entrepreneurship. Hitachi unveils enhanced flash storage liner. Rural banks profit grows by 62.46%. Ericsson Innovation Challenge 6 ICT Solutions for Food Sector. To keep up with the trending business news of the week, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on LinkedIn. These news and reports are called from Footprint to Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, visit www.footprintofafrica.com today. Footprint to Africa, business news made in Africa by Africa.